So we just arrived to Riley Beach. We're on the east side right now on the floating dock and it's already better. There's less people, less boats, definitely quieter than at PP. So I'm excited to check into our hotel, see how it looks because we've spent some time on choosing this one because we wanted just a, a nicer stay, you know, relax here for a little bit before we head out to another location in Thailand. Let's start from the outside because this is truly the most beautiful hotel I stayed in in my life, honestly. This is a little private villa. You got your steps to cross the river. And as soon as you enter the villa, on your left side, you have the bedroom, which is just stunning. It's really beautiful, spacious, clean. It looks very well maintained and to your right side you have a jacuzzi. You can enter to the jacuzzi room from the bedroom. You have a TV over here or you can enter it from the bathroom which is also really big. Photos on the website make this place look really really small but Honestly, it's very spacious, big shower, really beautiful, I like it. After the last hotel, this is gonna be a nice break, just to relax and enjoy the stay at Riley Beach. It wasn't too pricey, but so far it's the most expensive hotel that we're staying in Thailand. Yeah, like so far. Yes. This is honestly the best bungalow I ever stayed in my life. I can't wait to jump into that jacuzzi later in the evening because right now we're gonna go explore a little bit Riley Beach, see what kind of restaurants they have available and how it actually looks right now because a lot of things changed in Thailand what I already know after the few places we visited before. But if you're interested in details of this hotel, look for the links in the description of this video. You're gonna have everything that you need if you try to book this for your stay at Riley Beach. Fresh seafood. Everyone's getting ready for the dinner hours, which are starting right before sunset over here. They usually do uh, specials on drinks, specials on food. This street is definitely way better than some of the places that we visited, just because, as you can see, there's not too many people, it's not too crowded. And the food is delicious too.
right after sunset, that's when the nightlife begins here in Riley on this one main street where you have all of the restaurants, shops and little places. That's definitely our favorite food on this trip. Uh, fried fish with sweet and sour sauce with fresh pineapple vegetables. It's just delicious. This definitely feels more local if you come to Riley and go on that little street with bars and restaurants. You're gonna feel a bit better than being on PP, for example, or in the middle of Party Street in Bangkok. Obviously, that depends what you're looking for in Thailand. We were looking for a little bit of chill, and that's what this place provides. West Riley Beach, one of the most famous beaches in Thailand. When I came here for the first time a few years ago, I was just amazed how beautiful this place is. Unfortunately, right now, with the raising amount of tourists that are coming and visiting this country each year, the west side of this beach kind of became a boat parking lot. Yesterday, when we were sitting at a bar, we witnessed the bar crawl, which is organized by people from here. They go from one bar to another, party for a little bit, buy some drinks and then go to the next one. We were sitting at the last bar and all of a sudden about 100 something people just flooded. Music started playing loud, there was a fire show. Just great experience. If you're into nightlife and you want to spend some fun time, sign up for the bar crawl in Riley. If you would come here probably like 8, maybe 10 years ago, you would never see something like that. There would be some people at the beach, but not that many, and especially not that many boats. There would be standing few only over there in that corner. That's how it was when I came for the first time to Riley Beach. It was like 5 or 6 boats over there, and the whole beach was just empty. So unfortunately we're leaving this beautiful hotel but we're not leaving Riley Beach. We decided to stay a little bit longer. They didn't have this room available anymore so we're just changing hotels. So we just got to our new resort here in uh, Riley and I gotta tell you that it's just amazing let me show you it's a little private villa look at this a very spacious inside beautiful and the best part of it is the swimming pool right outside the sliding door is it open it's closed look at this right at the edge of the room this is so nice, seriously. <laughs> I thought the last room was really nice, but this one I think beats it. Very nice. And there's the bathroom and probably shower over here. Yes, it's really nice. Everything's clean, smells really nice too. Beautiful big room. 
two sliding doors to the pool and a big TV. Well, I'm definitely jumping into the pool any minute because it's hot outside and this is gonna feel great. They have some really nice resorts here at Riley Beach. Honestly, the best hotels I ever stayed in my life located at the same beach. This one was literally about four or five minutes walking from the last hotel that we stayed for the last two nights. But the pool right outside of the door is winning, seriously. On the east side of Riley, you have the pier where you can take the boats to different islands or different parts of Thailand. You have some hotels, shops and restaurants on that side and also the nightlife of Riley. This is usually just used for communication between different areas in Thailand. And the hotels right here don't really have like a beach access, but they have really nice swimming pools. So if you try to stay in a hotel on this side, remember, you're gonna have to walk to the west side to use the beach. And right now we're gonna attempt to get to the viewpoint in Riley. We'll see if it's really busy over there because last time when I was here, there was uh, literally a line of people waiting to get to the top. So hopefully it's not like that. We got out from the hotel pretty early to avoid the crowds before everyone starts coming to this beach. And then I'll show you the rest of the island. So you have like a little map showing that this part requires using ropes ropes again here and then you have a really short hike to the viewpoint or you can go to the lagoon on the way down and you have ladders and ropes but this is really beautiful and hopefully there's not going to be too many people over there and the hike looks like this are you terrified not yet not yet okay let's go so we're starting the hike as you can see, it's pretty much a climb, not a hike. It's very short, but quite intense. Last time when I was here, I was right after the rain and all of this was super slippery. Right now we're probably about 70% on the way up. It's nice because there's not too many people. When it's very crowded, there's a lot of waiting and a lot of spots where you kind of have to pick your own way because the main way is pretty much blocked off with people who are not that experienced with climbing or hiking. And remember, if you're not good at it, I would not recommend doing this. minutes and we're at the top right next to the viewpoint can't wait to see it it's a beautiful view on both sides of Riley <sighs> hopefully there's not too many people we we'll get to take some photos and then head out to the lagoon which I'm more excited than the viewpoint because last time when I was at the lagoon the water was kind of murky and brown for some reason it didn't have that clear blue color like it's supposed to. And that's the viewpoint. Right here you see Riley Beach and here you see the east side where you can hear all of the boats bringing in tourists from different islands, especially from uh, Krabi from Aonang. Most of the tourists come from over there, stay during the day on Riley Beach and then head back to the main spot in Krabi. 
but the view is beautiful not too crowded today so that's a good thing So this is the way to the lagoon. You can see how steep it is. You have to use two ropes to get down this ledge, then a little bit flat part, and then a few other ledges to get to the beautiful spot. So that's how the lagoon looks like. It's truly beautiful. There's a lot of echo. If you make a loud noise, it bounces from those rock walls. The water is not the clearest today because there was been already some people in the water, but it's still really nice. Really cool to see it. And even right now, when people are flooding Thailand in the middle of the tourist season, you're still able to find a beautiful spot just for yourself. Look at this. We have our little beach with the water access, surrounded with those rocks. It's just beautiful, such a gorgeous place. I found this a few years back when I was visiting Riley. I think it was my second or third time. And I knew there's not gonna be anyone here because you have to cross the water to get here. So not everyone adventures, you know, past the main beach. And this is truly the hidden treasure on Riley. It's camera shine. Yeah. It's starting to look like it wants to rain, but the cloud was here before, now it moved here and it's like kind of rotating over the beach, so 
we might move from here just so the rain doesn't catch us on this little island and the most important thing is that it's time to eat something because we started the day without a breakfast we went for that hike to the viewpoint then the lagoon and we came here only having a little fruit smoothie so it's time to grab some delicious Thai food You ready? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this was a great room, but it's time to leave and head out to the next location. You know what, so far Riley Beach is my favorite because of that healthy balance between the crowds, party spots, and just beautiful beaches. You're gonna find everything here. If you're looking for something a little bit more calm, but you still wanna party a little bit at night, this is a spot for you. There's a lot of areas that you can explore. You got those hiking trails, you got those uh, rock climbing areas, you get beautiful beaches. So that's why this is my favorite spot. But right now it's time to head out to another location. So I'll see you guys in the next video.